Hello. Mm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let me get situated. Situated. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm sorry, I'm staring at the screen because I was looking at something to do with the uh, stream strength and all that sort of stuff, but I seem to be fine, so I'll just keep pushing. Anyway, welcome. Hi, I'm Mika. This is Leap Taken. Here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft-related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And today is my witchy review, and this is what I'm reviewing. Uh, the Modern Witches Tarot Deck by Lisa Sterl. So I um, have been talking about getting this deck uh, because I own this. So I own this and I did a witchy review, I think about three Fridays ago now. Um, and I looked at this and I, I love this, by the way. So I said, wouldn't it be great? Because actually several people in the comments had told me, hey, you might want to get the actual deck. Oddly enough, how I got this and not this, I don't know, it's the way Amazon is set up. But I got this for my birthday. Yes, I got this for my birthday. Um... So now I have the matching set and I'm so happy. Anyway, uh, but this is what I'm going to be doing a review on. Uh, before I get into the review, there is something crazy going over, uh, going down right now on the news. I was just watching before I came on um, at the Capitol building again or around the Capitol building again. Uh, somebody, several, two people have lost their lives. The person who uh, rammed their car into uh state capitol police and then um one of the police officers themselves is now dead so um you know i just want to that's kind of a big deal <laughs> it's, it's kind of a big deal what's going on right now um i just want to say this you know i just healing energy blessings uh and just peace worldwide especially in this country because i feel like you know it's just out of control like it's just getting thick out there and I have a smile on my face because I'm in spite of but man is crazy right now so people are really pressed um, they believe in the craziness that is happening and um, yeah uh, black beauty yeah that is what's going it's it was on in the background and I the TV was on but it was muted so something caught my eye and I was like wait why do I keep seeing this car yeah, this guy, he it, it happened not too long ago. I think within at least an hour or so, it happened. It, this is crazy. Like, people are really about their beliefs, <laughs> no matter how much facts or truth are involved. I don't know what this guy was, but judging by the conduct of what he did, I think it probably has something to do with what happened on January 6th, I'm guessing. Um, you know, you got people who still want to believe that Joe Biden is not really the president and Donald Trump is. And when I say people, there are a lot of people out there like that. And it's kind of scary um, because, you know, the police officers at the end of the day, they were just standing out there doing what they're supposed to do. They were, you know, it's um, blocked off. The guy was on the street. So the whole area is blocked off. It's been blocked off for some time. So this guy rammed his car into these uh, officers. And, and that's the truth. Listen, we can have a conversation about police brutality and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> I understand. Um, I've been targeted multiple times. However, at the end of the day, these were just people doing their job, going to work, doing their job. My son's in the military. You know what I mean? I think about that kind of stuff. This is just somebody going to work, doing their job, 
they didn't know or they didn't, you know, man, it's just crazy when I, I think about it from that angle. Like, you just got up to go to work. This is what you do for a living. And, you know, somebody rammed their car into you. Like, that's crazy. And now one of them is dead and one of them is injured. Yeah, it is another domestic terrorist. This is just this is just sick. It's it's like we need to start treating them like we would treat if somebody was walking around, you know, with their head wrapped and they were Arab or something like that or any basically or Chinese cuz you know there's that part. Specifically Chinese cuz it's this weird thing with this country and the Chinese. Moving on. I just want to just, you know, it's happening. I thought it was I didn't want to ignore it. It is scary, yeah. Yeah, multiple realities. I agree that we are living in multiple realities at once. Protection work. I, I'm i big on protection work. I'm big on personal protection work. I send out protection over my kids, especially that military son I was just talking about. Um, although he's not like out and about. He does, gratefully, he doesn't, do, you know, he's not like an army. He's an air force. It's a whole thing where he's more office related. And I'm so happy for that. I don't want him out there being a soldier i don't want that <laughs> i don't want that for him my nerves is too bad but yeah the alternate realities for real like everybody is like multiple and alternate it's like what what word are you in because i saw the election i saw the results but anyway i'm gonna get off of that because i could go on a tangent about that my husband and i go back and forth about this he agrees but like we just kind of both <laughs> echo the same thoughts but about this deck so speaking of said son that I have, he bought me this. He uh, ordered it and had it sent to me. This deck. No, he doesn't watch the channel. I wish, but he doesn't watch my channel. Um, I had not talked about this deck with him. He bought me the Moon. I'm looking for it. Oh yeah, the Moonology <sighs> deck that I own. He bought me this one also. Um, this was a Christmas gift. So he purchased that for me and sent it to me, which I thought was sweet. All right, I can't get that up there now. <laughs> anyway, but this deck he got me. Now, why it's so funny, and it's just interesting, because I swear that he's more intuitive than he wants to give himself credit for. As, as I mentioned, I did a review on this book, which is companion to this. And I kept saying, I want to order, I want to order it. And I just, I don't know why, I just didn't order it. It's not like... um. I don't know. I just I never got around to ordering the deck. I kept saying I'm good. I'm going to, but I didn't. So when I got this, I I questioned him. Hey, did you know? Did somebody tell you? He was like, Who? Who would have told me that? No, nobody told me anything. And I was like, Did your sister tell you? He was like, No, my sister didn't tell me anything. No. So long story short, he just went on intuition. He said it just looked like something you would like, and I felt like I should get that for you. So he did. <laughs> so he did. So. They say what, uh, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily subscribe to this, but I've heard that if you should be gifted your tarot decks or something like that, I remember hearing that. I've purchased most of all of mine, so oh well. But this is kind of really special to me that he got this because I really wanted to place the order for it. It was just a matter of not doing it, of just not getting around to it. And he saw it and got it and it's not like it's just came out so it's, it shouldn't be um new or trending but he just knew instinctively to get it for me so anyway this is what i'm reviewing let's get into these cards first of all can we talk about the pretty colors this blue is everything i love it i love how the artwork is i'm just going to show you the empress right off the bat look at this look, look at this y'all Look at the artwork. This is absolutely gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, so it comes with the cards. It comes with the little guidebook. Also, I love this color blue. So I even like the little um, modern wish, the MW on the back. But yeah, it comes with all of that. Hi, Coco Lux. Oh, by the way, I didn't say, hey, uh, Dorcas T, how you doing? <laughs> um, the first cards that you get that are not technically part of the deck, this could become one, but I'll explain this a moment in a moment. But this one here, look at this, the message. It's just a little inspira words of inspiration. I felt this was, I like this. 
You are a badass being full of life, love and possibilities through this deck. May you find a path to your best self. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. I love that. And then this card. So Lisa Sterl writes that the reason she, this is the first card that she did. This is her artwork. And this is what led to the whole deck. Um, this one right here. She said, uh, this she was feeling you know overwhelmed she was feeling all these different emotions or whatever and she was thinking of ten of swords right and she was still saying everything is fine and if you really look at the imagery like the character she's laying down she's still got her phone clearly she's you know it's not fine but you know she's saying everything is fine but this was the catalyst i read in the little book here in the beginning in her intro this is how she got started on on doing this whole entire deck uh, starting with just this little card. So I thought that was really, I don't know, that resonated with me. That was sweet because sometimes it's, um, <sighs> she says she was in a dead-end design job. It was draining her creativity, passion and art, and her general faith in humanity. And I have been there before. Um, I remember when I was working uh, outside the home and I, it was actually the job I worked at when I met my husband. And I remember this thing and if any of you guys know what i'm talking about by the way hi kyle hello um if any of you know what i'm talking about where you especially in an office this is specific to office work i've done waitressing and stuff like that that's a little different because to me you move around people get on your nerves but it's a little different because you're not in one spot but physically sitting in this gray cubicle <laughs> was driving me insane um i remember wanting to scream like just i wanted to scream, it was so quiet, and I just heard the hum of the office noise and hushed tones of people on the phone, you know, business calls and things like that. And all I kept thinking was, it's too quiet, like this feels unnatural. And I feel like somebody needs to just like disrupt it. And I wanted to be the somebody that disrupted it, and I wanted to scream at the top of my lungs. I had to fight myself from screaming at the top of my lungs. That's when I knew, I don't think I need to be here. Um, I felt like, no, I wasn't really, I wasn't going to go anywhere in that job than where I was at. I felt um, it was just stifling me and I wasn't being creative and I wasn't living the life that I knew I wanted to live. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just knew I wouldn't, I didn't want to do that. So when I read that, that immediately stuck out to me because I've been in that situation. Um, I don't think office life is for me, at least not like cubicle life. And I know you got to do what you got to do, but... If I could do something else, I'm going to do it. Because that feels like somebody's slowly killing me. Uh, yes, I have an Amazon affiliate link for the... Um, yes, I think it's in the description. I thought I put it in there um, for this. Because I set this up. I thought I did. Y'all let me know. <laughs> um, but I can do it real quick just in case you don't see it but yeah I do have an affiliate link I um whenever I link things just so you know <laughs> I try to put like somewhere let, letting you know it's an affiliate link but yeah it's always an affiliate link I got my little um it updated me recently too and it said oh by the way you know you made a little bit of money it was like a dollar and change from it but Hey, that's more than I had before, right? Anyway, there's the link in the comments. Anyway, so the feel of the cards, like I'm using these nails, like you could tell how thick it is, but I'm just trying to explain to you, these are thick. They are thick. They don't, you know, bend easily. You know, it gives a little give, but it, they're pretty sturdy. And I like that. I like a sturdy card. Um, they're multicultural, so it's not all one thing. For instance, this is King of Pentacles and uh queen of pentacles i won't necessarily go through all of them but i'll just hold a couple of them up so you can get an idea of what i'm talking about it's a little you know it's, it's a little different a little bit of everybody in these cards so i do like that and it's modern you know so look at this girl here you know and no they don't have one witch's hats <laughs> but anyway um yeah so yeah look at that yeah this is they're all you know it's it's multicultural it's not just white and black it's you know she's brown girl um 
and I guess this is Lisa <laughs> on the Eight of Pentacles. But anyway, I'll, yeah, I'm just going to do a couple more so you guys can kind of see what this looks like if you weren't sure what this deck looks like on the inside. The fill feels great. I like saturated imagery. Like, come on, look at this one. I love um, when it's color saturation. I love the feel of the cards. I like the little sheen. It's kind of shiny. You can see that shot. Hopefully you can see it's a little shiny. I like that. Yeah, I'm happy. Thank you. I'm happy that my son purchased. I mean, I was willing to buy it, but he got this for me. And it, again, this kid, if he's not a kid, he's a man, but I just thought he's my kid. But uh, if me, I know it's not now. I know it's not going to happen now. But soon, one day, I really hope that I can bring him in because I believe he has natural gifts. Um, and I would love for him to, uh, you know, explore that um, and really come into his power and come into who he is, you know, holy. And, you know, I didn't raise any of my children with religion or anything like that. None of my kids were raised with religion. My daughter, my son, I only have two that <laughs> I raised. None of them were raised that way. Uh, my daughter is very into tarot cards. She will not call herself a witch though. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> a witch hat video dedicated to you. Okay. What is the significance of the witch hat? What, like, what are you getting from that? Let me, in, let me into your thinking on this. I'm trying to understand because I have a Halloween witch hat. Practicing witchcraft doesn't require the hat, I promise you. So like, what are you getting out of I dropped the card? Is this trying to tell me something, King of Pentacles? Mm. Is there money involved? Anyway, because <laughs> that's what the card that just fell. Anyway, um... Yeah, I never raised her, raised either one of them into that. Actually, my daughter recently said to me that she appreciates that um, she never had to undo something, undo religious dogma, undo any of that sort of stuff. She's just kind of like, when she hears other people talk like that, she's like, oh, okay, good for you. But she has no idea. She's like, she's, I've raised them to be free thinkers and to kind of choose your own path. Uh, much to the dismay of many people that I know. Hi, Gemstones. Much to the dismay of family. <laughs> Maybe some friends who felt like I should, and, and, and when I mean family, I mean like on their father's side as well, who felt like I should have, you know, you, you have to, how will they know morals? How will they know that? Funny, I mean, they're not murderers. They, my son's not going around murdering and raping people. Uh, my daughter is also not murdering and raping. <laughs> they typically are decent people my daughter wants to to go into healing type of work not necessarily just medical but like she's called to help heal people uh my son is still trying to figure out where he wants to go but whatever it is it's you know he doesn't want to hurt anybody <laughs> in, in the world um and they eventually all want families and children and all that all this without any religion funny right you love the witch hat, Coco? It increases. Ah, really? Okay. You just like witches who don their witch's hat. Okay, that's great. See, I feel like that about my hair, which is the conversation about hair being an antenna. So um, I don't have the kind of texture where it just goes out all the time. Um, it kind of, as you can see, kind of, you know, well, you see what it does. But because I got these little locks, to me, they're like little antennas and it's tapping in energy. I've become very sensitive to the idea of people touching my hair. I talked about that before. Um, but yeah, because of that, because I do think it's like an antenna and, you know, it can emit out and it can receive. So I'm very conscious about um, hair and people touching it and stuff like that. But I kind of feel like my hair is doing that. But yeah, I dig with the, the hat. I don't know, maybe I should go online. If you guys have got any links or anything for witches hats, like cool witches hats, let me know. There is this YouTuber um, here. Uh, no, <coughs> excuse me, I don't dye my hair. I use henna. Mm. I was recording earlier, so I've been talking a lot since before I got on this live. Um... No, I use uh, henna. I don't use any dyes. 
Plus, I'd be afraid to die with these locks. And I got baby locks. I I'm not allowed to do but so much because they might unravel, especially with the type of texture. I have fine hair. I need it to be... Um, these are the times I wish my hair was more coarser, more, for lack of better words, nappier because my locks will be popping even more right now. But, you know, we work with what we got. People touch your locks. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. First of all, that's really, I mean, I've been natural for years. But for some reason, like in person, because you'll see these are smaller, like I don't know how it's coming across here. You might be able to see some individual locks, but in person, you can see it more. And people are really fascinated. And the first thing they do is like, oh, and the hand calm, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can talk. You don't need to, no, 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 touch, no touch. But about the cards, what can I say about this deck? It's a beautiful deck. Um... I mean, look how thick it is. That's how much weight the cards have. It's really thick. Uh, all that, I like the way it feels in my hand. Yes, it is um, crazy trying to shuffle these cards now that I think about it because they are so thick. But uh, it's a problem I don't mind having because they're, they're really that pretty. Oh, it shows up later as breakage. Yeah, I just do henna. I, I dig the henna. Your witch hat just makes you look so awesome and amazing. Gives you such possess. Oh, okay. And Dorcas, you said you have 2C3A hair. You bleached it for six years. Oh, no. Yeah, I went through a blonde phase many years ago. Not that many, but many, a couple, a few years back. I, I was all natural with blonde. It's funny because when I decided, I went from blonde, I red, then light brown, then I just went to black. But um, several people in my family, including my mother, was like, at once I was done with the blonde, they were like, yeah, we never liked that on you. I'm like, great, thanks. <laughs> great, thanks. And it did break my hair off, by the way. It was too hard keeping up, a, like bleach blonde, like blonde, real blonde. That was difficult to keep up. It was a lot of maintenance. I don't understand. I mean, I think with a shortcut, if your hair is really short, it you could play around with it like that but once you you're trying to retain some length yeah it'll thin your hair out you said the cards do shuffle well oh so they're not slippery well i'm, I'm gonna be doing a cleansing on these cards very shortly let me see something now that you mention it i'm curious all right let's see let's see first of all with these <laughs> the cards that fell on my hand it will take some practice <laughs> It's gonna take some practice. You said they're not, they're very slippery. I don't know what you, mine are slippery. They're about to slide right out my hand. They're so slippery. I don't know. I love them still. I'll get used to them. Over time, that wears off a little bit anyway. Um, one of my favorite decks, that my go-to decks, is still this. <laughs> the Everyday Witch Tarot deck. I don't know where I have the little book that has the picture but these are still my go-to these that i don't know these just i don't know they're just it for me but i want these to i feel like this is going to be my new deck my go-to new not that i won't still use these occasionally but um these are going to be it the hoodoo deck i'm still getting myself comfortable with but these i don't know this resonates with me this is the feeling i had about that other deck is what i have about these when i first got them like all right this is about to be the one okay all right so that's pretty much that <laughs> on the review um i would encourage others to buy them and to get the uh the tarot book um journal as well because i think that goes first of all look how pretty this is can we just talk about how pretty this is i love this color um so definitely get them both if you can Oh, Jim, so you ordered the Everyday Wish Tarot? Yeah, I've been using this for a couple years now, and it has become one of my favorite decks. I don't know. And you know how it is when you use a certain deck, you get comfortable with it. It feels good. If, whenever you just want to do a quick spread or you want to do something bigger, you just automatically reach for those. Um, they feel right in your hand. I don't know. It's a thing. If you read cards, you know what I'm talking about. Oh gosh, yes, Dorcas. Have I ever had decks that I felt like I couldn't connect with? Yes. Do I have any over here right now? No, they're on my shelf. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I per one deck in particular. Dang, I would grab it if I if it's <laughs> some if I got a bunch of decks. But um when I was living in Florida still, South Florida, there was I went to this uh botanica and I purchased these cards and they had all the different Arishas on them and I said, Oh, this would probably be really good. I I can learn and then, you know, it I, I just assume it will resonate with me. Um, so I bought that deck at that point and one I did not notice that the book that it came with was all in Spanish. That was a problem. Uh, so I was struggling to understand what I thought I would understand. I wouldn't. Um, there was actually two decks. There's two decks that both oddly enough had to do with the Orishas. But anyway, this deck, it had that um, a book in Spanish. So I struggled and the meanings were not. I didn't understand what I was looking at. Once I opened the deck, I was like, okay, I don't know what I bought. <laughs> I don't know what I got. I don't understand this. So no, it didn't resonate with me because I couldn't understand the language and the imagery that was on the cards didn't make sense. I couldn't make heads or tails of what I was supposed to be looking at. So yeah. And then there was another deck. It was in English and it's popular too. And um, dang, what is that? Hold on. Uh, Zolrak. Z-O-L-R-A-K. The author who wrote this book, my sister just bought me this book, which, spoiler alert, next Friday I'm going to review this book. Anyway, um, he has this, he's wrote the the book part for a uh, tarot deck. And it does talk about the Orishas. I think in the title it says something about Orishas. I can't remember it. Anyway, I purchased it. Never resonated with me. The language in the book felt so negative. Um... Dang, I wish I could. Rem I don't have it. No, I don't have it out because I don't like using it. Um, which gave me a negative feeling about the cards. Uh, you know, I, I just, I don't know. It, it, it. When I figure out what it is, I'll, I'll share it and I'll, I'll put it in a description or something afterwards. But yeah, that deck really. And I wasn't the only person that found out about this. I think it's called something the Orishas or something. Thank you, November Eve. Yes, I love Amazon purchase. I'm, you know, ever since uh, the quarantine, Amazon has been my friend. And now I can't stop them. I'm hooked on buying everything. And I find so many good deals. It's, it's hard to not shop on Amazon. Every day I have to go in there and say, you don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. Where are you going? <laughs> You're not even going anywhere. But, you know, this is one of my, my spoils. The other thing I wanted to talk about, I did a birthday spell video and I was talking about an oil and I was going to use this little bottle here for my oil, which I still think is cute and I love it, but I don't think it's going to work because I was looking at the, like the little spout is too small for me to really clean like I want. But here's the oil that I made. In the meantime, it's a mason jar. I have to go to the store. I have uh, bottles and labels of oils on my counter anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is the oil that I made. I actually didn't do it the way I said I would do it when I wrote it down in my, um, grimoire. We have a machine, uh, dang, I don't know what it's called. It's, um, an infuser or oil infuser. A lot of people use it for like, uh, if you have like, um, a cannabis flower and you want to infuse butters and oils and stuff like that, you use it. A lot of people use it for that. I think it's called EVO or something. I don't know. Anyway, the point is it's um, a couple hundred bucks and it, it, any herbs, it'll uh, decarbonate the herbs ready for infusion. So what I was trying to do on a stovetop is a more high tech way and it creates this oil. And this is sage from my garden. This is uh, rosemary from my garden, and I used a little bit of lemon balm from my garden. This is an infused oil. Um, the whole purpose, again, with this is the intention, once I transfer this into a prettier bottle and label it, as I use this uh, for kitchen magic, for cooking and things like that, this is infused with the energy that I put into it, which, again, is about wealth, prosperity, abundance, and all that sort of stuff and protection. So... All of that's infused there. So throughout my birth y this year that I'll be able to use this and it's the spell that just keeps going. So that was the purpose of this. But I wanted to show you, I did actually make my oil. 
you said you'll keep an eye out in the descriptions. Yeah, please do. Yeah, that deck for the Orisha thing, I'll tell you what it was. But yeah, I did go ahead and make the oil. So again, um, sometimes I think when it comes to this sort of stuff, people think it's a lot of work. You can use modern appliances and still do witchcraft. So just to kind of put it in perspective, um, when you pick the herbs, or let's say you had to purchase them, let's say you don't have it in the backyard, uh, but when you prepare them, you know, you want to rinse them off and dry them. That's the time you start talking to them. You start bringing out the, um, connecting with the essence of the herbs, right? Um, it starts there. And then when you put them inside, in my case, inside that machine, you put the herbs in first, it does this decarbonation thing. Um, once that happens, or as I'm putting it in, you speak your intention. That went on for hours, so I walked away. Came back, time to pour the oil in because it was ready to be infused. Uh, it basically dries out the herbs. So um, once the oil's done, you know, you can, whatever vessel you have it in, you know, at that point you can speak your intentions over the whole thing and say your words. And if you want to do more stuff as far as like around the, the jar and all that you can, you know, like you can put it on your altar, put herbs around it, salt. Um, I wouldn't put the candle on here, but because I, I want to open it again, but you can have a candle burning and say your intentions and finish the rest of your spell. But even with modern appliances, you can still do witchcraft, kitchen magic and all that. That's what I want to get at. But um, yeah, I, I was able to do that. So I'm excited about that. And as much as I love this little bottle, this will be for things that are not edible. I think this is something I would do almost like a jar spell and I can seal it. I wouldn't want to keep using it. Oh, you leave your, okay. So Gemstone says she usually makes her oils by leaving them in the sun or on a windowsill for two weeks, then strain. Yeah. You like that. It takes a long time, right? And you come back in, you check on it. You can shake it up. Now on a separate note, I have hair oils that I make using henna <laughs> um, and I do enjoy that process I put positive energy and all that stuff in inside um I shake the jars up like I go back in because they could keep up to a month where they'll be infused so yeah I I do that with the hair oils but this one yeah this was a little bit different I kind of I, I wasn't going to use the machine, but my husband was like, well, we have this machine. Why not use it? It'll do everything, you know? And I was like, yeah, I, I could work with it. So here we go. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on with that. So I, we talked about the review. I wanted to update you on the oils. Yeah, I use a lot of essential oils as well. Making not, th this is going to be for food. So not so much with essential oils for that, but for everything else. Yes. Like, um, this was the leftover of my Yule oil that I made, um, winter solstice oil, and then uh, my anointing oil. Then um, I did a review, a haul, because I went to the store and I purchased these oils. And I've never, I haven't used these yet because, as I mentioned before, I struggle with using other people's stuff because I make my own oils. But I felt, per I felt like I should purchase those, so... I'm going to make use of them at some point. Uh, soon, I am. I got a lot of stuff to do witchy-wise because first I need to bless these oils. They came from the shop, but I still got to, you know, if how that would look like this is uh, prosperity oil, right? So, you know, using the heat, the energy of my body, my hands. This is what it looks like what I do individually now. <laughs> so I would sit here. Usually I ground myself. I light like a white candle, something basic like that. Um, start with a white candle and, or maybe blue or both, depends what I'm doing. But anyway, for me, and I'll sit there and I just sit, ground myself. I go to this place where I feel grounded, where you kind of like, not lucid dreaming, but you're like real relaxed. You're not thinking about anything else. You're not really thinking about anything. And then when I feel kind of in that floaty, comfortable space, is when I, I consciously, intentionally, I pull up energy from my core because I believe I can bless my oils. I can uh, consecrate them. I don't necessarily have to reach out. So I go from within my core and I pull out that creative energy, you know, that dark place. And I bring that out and I just kind of see it as a light traveling through my body. 
into this and I'm infusing it with my energy and I'm blessing it. I'm consecrating the oil, but I need to do that for each one. Hi, TK Brantley. You said do more. Wait, okay. Let, before I get to you with the witch hat, hold on. <laughs> um, let me backtrack here. So Lori and Lori and Lauren spill. Lori and Lauren spill. Okay. I am. And hello, by the way, I'm just beginning to work with oils and hydra souls. Just got my distiller this week. Oh, nice. Now that's, I haven't got to the distiller yet. That's another Amazon purchase. You shouldn't tell people like me that because I'll look for it next. Um, if you ever decide to sell your oils, let us know. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I do. Which goes into another thing I'm about to talk about, by the way. Um, under God, Yahweh, and angels' feet. Wait, what? Hi. Oh, demon. I thought that was the comment. Demons belongs under God, Yahweh. Hi. And angels' feet said hi. That's a mouthful. <laughs> hi. <laughs> um and Kyle, what are you talking about? We already talked about the witch's hat. <laughs> I bind and rebuke and enslaves you by the mightiest name of Jesus Christ. Yahawa. Yeah, I said Jesus. Yahawah she God, I pray, amen. Master and send angels to wage wars to against all of the demons con continuously unlimited times that's a lot of words i don't understand I, I i think you're trying to make a point but it's not cohesive i'm sorry you should work on your um i don't think you're spelling that right either yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, ma'am. I'm going to need to remove you. That's You're being weird. Anyway. Yeah, it is harassment. I try not to get too caught. I, you know, I'm trying to, to keep myself... <laughs> uh, you know, not getting too crazy. Let me um, fix that real quick. Harassment. All right. Okay. Oh no, that didn't go. Oh, you're still here. I thought I made you go away. All right. Yeah. You don't. You you don't make sense. I can't understand your words. Um. I don't know if English is your first language or <clears throat> what your deal is. There we go. I figured out how to get rid of it. All right, so they're they're done. All right, unless that last one just kicked. Okay, so it's hidden. You guys don't see their their messages anymore, right? If y'all could just confirm, I never had to block anybody before. Oh, so it did end. Okay, he ended with the Holy Spirit, right? Anyway. It's funny because the inner, oh man, the video that I just recorded for Monday today, ah, I was talking a little bit about this and I try not to go on tangents about this, but this is the kind of craziness. Moving on, let me take a sip of water and clear this up. I was really trying to give this person a benefit of the doubt. Oh, it's deleted, good, okay. Moving, going back to what we were talking about, using essential oils um, and, you know, a distiller and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I'd love to get into making my own essential oils. Maybe that's not something I'm doing just yet. I need to slow my roll because I got enough on my plate. But it's something I would like to do eventually. I'd like to get into that. Um, making my own oils. It seems like a whole process, though, but like. I don't know, I feel like an alchemist or something. If I could get some old fashioned setup, I could just see it dripping out from a plant. But that's just my kitchen witch fantasies coming to life right now. I could just see that on a counter and everything set up. But then where am I gonna put all this stuff when I'm done? You know, I'm just, I'm, my and my husband is worse because he likes small like kitchen appliances just as much as I do. So we're the type of people we will just 
keep buying stuff. We're we need nothing else, <laughs> but we will still try to get it. I got the Ninja Foodie, the food processor thing, the air fryer, the regular fryer. I got the special decarbonation thing for the herbs. So, you know, we like our small appliances. That that you know, we all got our vices, right? But I'm proud of my oil, and um, it smells like sage. Like you can smell of it. It smells like sage and rosemary. How can see? Yeah, I love getting in there and playing around and making stuff and uh, just I I don't know. I'm I like to talk to the plants, talk to the herbs, get introduce myself, tell them what I plan on doing with them. You know, I want to get that energy. I want your essence. <laughs> I want to you know um, mix it with this oil. And you'll serve a higher purpose. Like I say this kind of stuff when I'm doing it. Um, sometimes under my breath, sometimes a little louder. But, you know, that that's where the magic happens when you do that. But about selling oils. So I don't know if you guys can see this nice shiny little pink thing that's over here. It's called a cricket. A cricket maker. This was a birthday gift my kids got for me together. Yes, my son still got the cards for me. He had already did this. which is, And he had already gotten this, but... My daughter and my son got me this. This is, um, Cricut is basically like a, a cutter. It cuts stuff. Like uh, this is something I was playing, this is like a test thing that I did, right? But it's everything from cutting out the labels, not just like a block label, but like if you just want the lettering or something like that on your um, jar, if you want, if I sold something like this or on maybe something more like this. Uh, you could, you know, you could print out certain labels that would be cut a certain way. You can make, quite frankly, I can make these. <laughs> I can make cards. Um, it would first, first you would use your printer to print the image on there. And then it would cut a certain way, you know, so that they're all evenly done. Um, this something like this although this is carved on here i could take something like this and i could do a cutout like let's say i get a blank one and i want to recreate this but i didn't want to carve into it i can have get a different type of material like a piece of thin wood and i could cut and like paste it on top of something like this it's all types of materials fabric everything <laughs> i know i am really what'd you say Perfect for your witchy planner. Yes, and oh, what, stickers. Can we talk about stickers? Because that's really what I want. Seriously, that's I wanted this thing for stickers. Because now I can print out my stickers. And when I mean print out, like I don't have anything available. But let's say it was like a picture of a, a sticker of an avocado. You know, something like that, right? Um, you It would, cuss, you know, print out the avocado. What I do with the little thing? Like, you see how it just like this image, like it would expertly cut it out and then I would have my stickers and it would do that and it doesn't cut all the way through the sticker paper so it's just enough so you could peel back it's a whole thing it's a lot of stuff that you can make and I have been wanting this for years and they got I did not know these kids got this for me I almost cried I was so happy they got this for me and my um niece's birthday comes up in August so this inspired me because I was like party favors custom part i was thinking like stuff hanging down um like creating a whole theme for the girls they'll be turning three uh i was like i could create a theme for them make little hats crowns princess thing anyway it's called a cricket uh c-r-i-c-u-t cricket i got the maker which is the top dog one because there's the cricket explorer explorer cricket air or something like that but anyway this is the one that does all the stuff so I'm so happy that, you know, I'm happy my kids work and have jobs and they were able to go in on this together and get it for me. What is it about pickle juice? <laughs> pickle juice, good for the heart. Which is, did I miss a part of the conversation? First of all, I do like pickle juice, but how do you know that? <laughs> Uh, what were you talking about, TK Brantley, about pickle juice? Oh, you think this is pickle juice? <laughs> or it does kind of look like pickle juice, right? <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, so this is something 
that I have. And the thing I do want to create are witchy planner stickers. I know they're out there. I know a lot of people do them. But I want to do more cottage witchery type stickers, like things that matter to me, like, um, you know, in your plan or just uh, it just like a couple things I was thinking of, like a cleansing or your protection work, you know, like a little sticker or something that ident you, we identify with as protection. Or it could just say, you know, time for protection spells or, um, you know, whatever, just little stickers, uh, reminders and things like that. So I would like to create that. Now, first I need to design and I am not the best uh, artist, um, at least not like freehand drawing. You guys probably have seen my uh, updates to my um, grimoire. It's not my strong suit, but, <laughs> oh, the jar. Yeah, this is oil. <laughs> it does look like a pickle jar, but uh, it's not my strong suit, but I know there's digital, like, I know canvas and places like that. I can create my uh, different things, but I do have a resource in my home. My daughter does have that talent. If I could just get her for two seconds to just focus <laughs> with me, we can design some stuff. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have to use my mommy privileges and, and try to lean in a little bit the girl is she's got a full schedule she works full-time she's doing school full-time at home but still um i know she's super busy but um yeah i'm still gonna ask her to help me but anyway <laughs> and in her limited free time i'm gonna ask her to help me because she has a software where she can she can draw things like she'll draw like anime characters and things like that no one will ever see them she will never share this with anybody except for me but i know she can draw you know something simple like you know something like this in a sticker form and we can cut it out and it could be like you know the sun solstice or something i don't know you know a summer solstice or something like that stickers regarding that yeah i think those would be cute so and i can you know set up a little etsy store because uh, planners is a serious passion for me. I love doing that sort of stuff in journals and things like that. Um, paper crafts. So I would love to be able, and now that I have my very own shiny new machine that I'm still learning how to function, <laughs> how to use, I just figured out how to do this. It took me a mo one morning to figure this out. So I did do some stickers but someone else's artwork but it did cut so i'm just trying to learn the machine but anyway yeah i um that's something i would like to do but give me some time to figure out how to use this thing a little bit better <laughs> yeah those privileges mother's day is coming up and i'm like you know what you could really give me the gift of your artwork because she's really good at it and she's always been like this like i'm not asking you to give up your life's dream and what you want to do i'm just asking you for a couple of hours of your time to draw, you know, some imagery for me, you know, that's it. I, I, I mean, that's not a lot, I don't think, to ask. I mean, I made her. She could do that one little thing for me. That's how I see it. So let me stop. People want to say I'm um a horrible mother, right? <laughs> uh, that I'm controlling. I hear that a lot now. And they say parents are controlling and try to tell their kids what to do. Listen. I didn't raise the girl with religion. I didn't raise her with a lot of that sort of dogma. I raised her to be a free thinker, my husband and I both. Um, but occasionally some old school values got to come into play and I, she should be able to do what I asked her to do. Even though I'm asking, I'm not really asking, I'm making her do it, but y'all know how parenthood works. You just do it with a smile. I'm a different kind of mom. I don't, you know, make a big deal about it. Oh, I can't get this back open again. We say paper crafts are my thing. I'll be the first one to admit my grimoire book, The Shadows, is lacking. Lacking because you don't put anything in it or lacking because it's not pretty. And I think that's a fair exchange. What do you mean by it's lacking? What What does that mean? Um... Because, I mean, you got to think about it. It's evolved. It, it, I, I used to kind of beat myself up like, mm, I'm not adding enough fast enough to this book. But it's supposed to be something that comes naturally, organically, that, you, you know, as you do certain work, it evolves. Um, mine is over here because I'm actually, uh, I had to, to remember what I put in this. 
because it was on my birthday. My birthday is past. It's days, and I can't remember everything. I had to go back and look in this, but um, I haven't nowhere near have this completely filled up yet. But uh, oh, you don't use it regularly. I mean, I don't know how often are we supposed to be using it. I don't think it's something I need to look at every day. Unlike my witchy planner, which I do look at every day. So I, I guess it just depends what you're using it for. But no, I'm flipping through. You. I, I've got stuff in here, but there's still a good amount of blank pages in here, too. Um, and I'm still filling it up. But the information is here when I need it, you know. Um, I'm glad I did a lot of stuff, updated stuff for like, uh, this is one of my favorite ones, pages that I did. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry again. Uh, I did this one here. This is my, um, for the winter solstice, I did these pages. And it's just information that I got online. I cut it out uh, so I didn't have to handwrite too much anything. And I just printed out images that I saw, like magical gingerbread poppets, um, I don't know that's so next now in my Yule witch jars and Yule spell ornaments I did a video on that but here's the pages that I did for it my book this is gonna be super this like next this next year this year I'll go back and I can look in it and I said oh wow it's all right here I got it right here you got a binder I got binder gonna print page eventually write one you know what I binders probably would make more sense but I like a bound book. <laughs> I like a bound book. This, I have, um, I don't want to give my details away, but this is my spell results page. I just print this from Microsoft Word. I just created it there. But when I do put spells in here, like this page here, this is the birthday spell. I like to keep track of the results. So I wrote the reading here and any results that come up uh, then. So this is going to be for the year or so. I'll just come back and I'll date it and I update it. I don't just, that's just a, a, a tip. When you add these pages, you add spells and it's loose. I'm okay with that because I want to, you know, pull it out and write in it, but it's good to be able to write down your results. Otherwise, how will you know if the spell worked? Are you going to remember a year from now, whether or not that spell worked? I know I don't. <laughs> I don't get all my extra stuff I keep in the back of the book, but yeah, that's just a tip I would suggest junk journal for your grimoire oh i love a junk journal i would love to take some sort of a class like a i want somebody to guide me on creating like a junk journal i know there's youtube videos maybe that'll be my guide but i want to get into that i want to take like a book i don't like i think it was um she's not here i don't think the alt barbie gave me a suggestion about some books that i've reviewed that weren't that great witchy books <laughs> but the imagery was nice on turning it into like a junk journal but i don't really know how to do that and i want to i like the uh what do you call that ephemera and all those little cutouts and papers which i can now make myself on my beautiful cricket um but yeah i i want to do that but i need help if any if you guys have resources for that let me know put it in the comments like is there a youtuber who's really good at that i'd love to 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 follow them i need help <laughs> Um, I like, I mean, I, I'm not the best at drawing, but I don't know. I try. I, that's why I use things like, um, let me find a page like this one. I got this, um, there's a whole video on how I made this, but this page right here. So this is the section, anything to do with water magic. I would put it in this section, you know, whether it's something I printed out and I pasted or I wrote it out. But I like, you, you know, I love the imagery, but, you know, I can't draw that. I don't know how to do that. So I just took it from someplace else and pasted it in my book. That, that's what I do. All right. Would you say you love the, oh, the kids stuff? Okay. Yeah, maybe I should start with that. Because I, I might learn, I might actually learn from that. I remember in Michael's, they had like a, a kid's version for like a junk journal type thing. Um, but it was more like prompts for them writing. I didn't see anything. I wanted like, uh, I see, I don't know how to explain it, but I've seen YouTubers where it's so elaborate and they have all these layers on it. Oh, there's this one woman in particular. Lipstick Legion Craft. Lipstick Legion, I think is her name. 
um, oh my God, I love the way she, when she shows it, how she has done her uh, Book of Shadows or Grimoire. I'm not sure what, exactly what she calls it, but it's like all these different layers and materials and pieces of fabric glued down. I don't know. I love that. I don't know if I want that for mine though. I would just do that in general. I like what I have. I need to be able to clearly read these words on the page and not, you know, get confused with there. I, I need to see what's written down. I'm very practical minded like that. Yeah, every witch does have their own style. Oh, you said you use a tra traveler's notebook. I'm about that too. I could use all these things because I love paper crafts. Like I will just buy, I will, I don't even about buying them. I'll just start making all of these things. The Traveler's Notebook, the Junk Journal. I would get more into, um, what do you call it? Where you make up your own. Oh, why am I, it's slipping from me. Bo, Bojo, Bo. What do you call the thing where the planners, where they like recreate it? It's like on dot grid paper, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And you create your own planner with it like every month. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Dang, what is that called? <laughs> anyway, whatever it is, where I see people are very artistic and they make their own stuff. Like every month they recreate something. They create their weekly spreads like from scratch in this dot grid like journal. I would love to be able to do that. But again, I, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I struggle with... I, like I maybe I need an art class. I don't know. Where's my daughter? I gotta get her involved. She I need her. Bullet journal. Thank you. <laughs> Bullet journal. Thank you so much. That's what uh, I I could get into that, but I don't feel like I'm that artistic enough. It will look like a little kid did it <laughs> once I'm done. So I just buy the planners instead, and I add the stickers, and the, you know I still need to figure out how to do calligraphy. Um, I don't know. I'm going on about paper crafts. This will be an entire conversation because I could seriously sit here and just talk about this and just go because I'm that crazy about it. But I'm going to stop here <laughs> and conclude this video uh, instead of going on and on about that. But get the deck. It's, it's worth the money. It's worth getting. Um, I was going to purchase it, but like I said, it was gifted to me. Uh, my son, I appreciate that. I love that he thought to get me this deck I, I really do and it just you know I don't believe in coincidences so he was led to get me this because I it's something I wanted and I think this is about to become my everyday deck so when I'm done with this I have to cleanse this deck I still got to cleanse those oils because I still haven't done that um and I did clean he got me this for Christmas I did cleanse this one so I know I'm going to use that for the new moon and um, there's a bunch of other witchy, oh, the last witchy haul I did. I have to go through some of that stuff and actually, um, you know, add, give it intentional purpose. And I like to code things ahead of time. Uh, not just when, sometimes when you use them, yeah, but I like to have it already done. So when I reach into my witchy cabinet here, I can just grab out the supplies I need and just start the working. So I've got a lot of witchy stuff to do. Just pin washi stickers. Yeah. Do a tarot rituals. Well, I have that book, uh, Tarot for Self-Care. And that's super helpful because it's kind of taking these cards in, in a different, make uh, looking at them in a different light. So I'll use that sometimes. But on, outside of other rituals, not so much. I have used my cards in spells. If I'm wanting to um, bring in a certain energy, that's where these cards, that's why it's like when you have a, a deck that you use all the time, that energy is there. Uh, so if I was, you know, like Empress for sure, um, Empress energy, I don't know if I have, I don't know where it is in this deck, but Empress energy, like I would put the card out and as I'm doing the working, the card is there. And if it's one of those kind of spells where I leave it sitting up, um, like I leave everything out because I don't have small children here. Nobody in my household will mess with my stuff. So if I leave everything as is, as the candle burns all the way down, even if it's going into the next day, I'll leave the card up and it's just lending that energy. So I, I've done that before. Uh, but outside of that, no. Yeah, I just, I wanted the energy from 
that card or how I identified the energy in the card, like a king of pentacles. For instance, all right, and I'll end with this. So uh, king of pentacles, right? So for this card, let's say I was looking to land me a husband, but I didn't want just any old husband. I wanted a husband who was, um, or we'll say mate, or somebody with this energy, that masculine energy. Um, and I wanted them to be a provider. I wanted them to, uh, I wanted a good life. I want us to live well. Let's say I'm living well. I want us to live well together. I want this guy in my life or person. Um, I would use this King of Pentacles, like in this deck, this particular card, I would use this in my attraction spells. Because I think this represents what I want. I want an, you want an established person, already has their, you know, situation together. And I would pull on that energy and I would have this in my spell. Now, when you're done with it, um, I would do just this individual individual card. When I was done with the whole spell, everything was put away. Um, I would take like um, this, the, I, this is something my sister got me. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Anyway, I would take this and I would just cleanse this one card and then, you know, put it back in the rest of the deck and continue to use the cards once I'm done. But that's that. All right, well, I'm going to end it here. Um, I don't see any other different questions or comments coming through, so I'm going to end it here. Oh, one other thing, um, if you're still here <laughs> or if you're watching this on the replay, Leap Taken's Virtual Coven has started. We had our first meeting on Wednesday, and that was pretty fun. I think all the ladies that showed up would say they, they had a good time, and it was really nice to just talk and feel comfortable it wasn't very formal because it wasn't supposed to be uh but um we had a nice time getting together so if you're interested in feeling that sense of community this is not a place where you feel like everything's mandatory i'm not asking you to pay anything um some time commitments meaning if we all say we're doing a ritual and we talked about it a month in advance and you said you were going to do something or you wanted to be a part of it unless something happened you know show up that would be the only thing but that's just you know being nice and courteous <laughs> um so yes be cur I'm, I'm asking for people to be courteous that's about it but anyway yeah if you um are interested in having that sense of community even if it's virtual we get on camera so we see each other if you're comfortable or at least hear each other um i put the link at the top here and if you're looking on this chat at the very beginning i put the invite in so you'll be able to go and it's on the discord server um i have a discord channel so it's called leap taken's virtual coven so check it out come in um say hi introduce yourself and you know i in the announcement sections if you want to know what exactly is going on go to the announcement section after you introduce yourself and you'll see the upcoming activities that we have going on all right you didn't know about that yeah it's it's there let me um i'll make life a little bit easier i'll go ahead and redo the uh link real quick before i disconnect this and you guys can go from there if you so choose but yeah i welcome we welcome you if you want to come in and like i said introduce yourself don't just come in and don't say anything just say hey you don't have to go into a whole thing um but yeah and check out the announcements if it's a good fit for you hang around um if not it's okay you can leave it's okay oh you see it now okay you got it good all right so i'll end it here thank you so much for coming to my witchy review Thanks again for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and all that other good stuff. And you might want to get this deck because it's pretty cool. All right, bye.